Hey kids, welcome back. In a few minutes, we've got Lisa Bell, who's got a new friend with her today. I'll give you a clue. It's not a dog, and it's not a mouse. I wonder what it could be. Anyway, guess what? We've got a new banner outside church, and it says, Building closed, but church is open. Because we're still here, aren't we? Yes, and we want to decorate the church and make it look really cool. So what we'd like you to do is to create some pictures for us that we can stick on the glass doors at church. Nice paintings, uh, maybe you want to write out some Bible verses, some nice messages of hope for our community, and then if you post them through the church door, or send them to the church address, or even email them, then we'll print them out, we'll put them up. So if you do that, that would be awesome. Don't forget, get your parents to email this email address if you want your birthday on GFM Kids. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'd like you to meet our newest family member. This is little Cleo the cat. Cleo's been with us for two weeks now. Uh, she was living in a situation where she couldn't really say it wasn't a good place for her. So we heard about her and we decided to take her in and give her a chance of a new life here. So technically we rescued her. And we've given her a new bed and a new food bowl. She's got a, a room to sleep in. And we hope that when she settles, she'll be able to come and be with us and come into the lounge and cuddle up to us and, and play and play with the wool while I'm knitting and, and things like that. It got me thinking a little bit about Jesus. Have you ever thought about Jesus as being a rescuer? There was once a man called Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus wasn't really a popular man. He was a tax collector. His job was to go around taking taxes off people. But he wasn't very honest and he used to charge more than he should have charged. So he took more money than he should have. Technically he was stealing. Some people would say that he was a liar and a cheat. Some people might have used really strong words for him. They might have hated him. He didn't have many friends. He wasn't well liked. And there was a man called Jesus. Jesus who was coming to visit Zacchaeus' town in Jericho. He was walking through the streets, this Jesus, and people wanted to meet him. People were excited. There were crowds. They were, they were lining the road so that they could all have a glimpse at him. People were calling out Jesus' name. Zacchaeus was excited too. He wanted to meet Jesus. He wanted to see who this guy was. He'd heard all about his miracles and the work that he'd been doing and his teachings. But he couldn't get through the crowds. He was quite a short man. And because he didn't have any friends, nobody had let him through. There was a sycamore tree nearby and he climbed up the sycamore tree and sat in the top and he had a really good view of Jesus. He could see the crowds and he could see Jesus. He could hear people calling his name and he was really excited. Jesus soon got to the bottom of the tree and he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus and he told him, hurry down, I must come to your house to stay. And Zacchaeus was a bit surprised by that, but he climbed down the tree and he took Jesus and his disciples back to his house and he fed them and he gave them somewhere to sleep. Now the villagers and the townspeople, they weren't very happy about this. They were quite angry actually. And why would Jesus eat with sinners? Why would he like people who, who steal, who do wrong things? But Jesus was sat with Zacchaeus telling him about his teachings. He was telling him about God. He was telling him about the miracles that he performed. And Zacchaeus started to realize what he'd done wrong. Jesus got it. He understood these this teachings of this Jesus. And so Zacchaeus did a really brave thing. He decided that he'd give back half of what he owned, half of his wealth back to the poor. And he also said that anybody that he'd cheated money from, anyone that he'd stolen from, he'd give them back four times the amount that he'd taken from them. This was a big deal for Zacchaeus. It was important for him to be money. It was important for him to, to be rich. And he, it, there he was, just giving it all away. 
Jesus was pleased with Zacchaeus. And he said that salvation had come to the house. He said that the son of man comes to save man. Meaning Jesus, Jesus was sent to come and save people from the things that they've done wrong. Sometimes we call that sin. And so Jesus rescued Zacchaeus, just like he rescued the disciples, just like he's rescued me, just like I rescued Cleo. He's just here with me having a cuddle. You see, when we say sorry for the things that we've done wrong, Jesus does come to rescue us. And you know what? I'm rescued time and time again. Don't tell anybody, but I'm always saying sorry. And Jesus always comes and rescues me. I start a new life with Jesus more than you could ever imagine. And so I decided that it was only fair that I give Cleo a new life and that I rescue her as well. Now, before I pray, I'm going to challenge you with something. There's a really good song called Rescuer, and it's by Wren Collective. And you might need an adult's help to find it, but I want you to find it. I want you to learn it. I want you to make some actions up to it if you can. And I want you to get your adult to record you, and if they're happy to, to send it into the church office. Because if we get enough videos, we can put together lots of snippets of the kids at Garstang and their families and brothers and sisters and mums and dads and we can make a big video of Rescuer and I think it'd be so nice for everybody to be able to see each other after such a long long time. So what you need to do is find the video, learn the words or some actions, get someone to record you, send it into the church office and let's see if we can all see each other doing the same song. I think it'd be absolutely awesome. Don't forget that God is your rescuer and that Jesus was sent by God to come and rescue you. And no matter how many times you make mistakes, as long as you say sorry, he will always, always rescue you. And you can always, always start a new life in Jesus. You ready, Cleo? Should we say our prayers? Meow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Here she comes. All right, let's say our prayers. Dear God, I pray that we know of your rescuing powers. And Lord, I ask that you help us to live a life that's bright and shiny and contented and that we live that life with you, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you use us, you use us who have been rescued to go and rescue other people and shout about your kindness and your mercy and how wonderful you are, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, use me to go and rescue others. Amen. Yes.